Good morning, everybody. POA here. We're going to dive into a set box this morning with this Wild of Eldraine set. So I know most of you have seen plenty of this already on YouTube. Um, you know, due to LGSs getting product and then now having YouTube channels. And then you've got the ambassadors, you know, when they get product and they get to do a video. I'm late. I'm like super late to the party or, or people that have an affiliation with a game store and just like open product for them. And there's just me. I don't have any affiliation to anybody anywhere. It's just me. I'm not an ambassador. I don't get paid by wizards. I don't belong to any, I don't own an LGS. I have nothing to do with any of that. I'm just a guy who walks into the store and buys some product and opens it. So I'm a little bit late to the party. That's okay. That's okay. I can also talk trash about things, which is nice. <laughs> so these are Japanese printed. Once again, that makes me happy. Let's see what we got. So we got the Ice Rot Century. Okay. Primal Vigor. All right, that's a good start. Grasp of Fate. That makes me pleased also. Restless Spire. So the Land Cycle. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of adjustment here. There we go. Bear with me a second. All right. I'm going to need... Oops, stop. Stop. All right. Tattered rap or tattered ratter, tattered ratter, tattered ratter. Okay. Set boxes, of course, are always interesting. Random amounts of rares and mythics all over the place. Then you have the list. I don't know. We'll see what we get. Screen puff. Frain sanity. I feel like I'm familiar with you, but you're not coming to mind. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, from, uh, is it Hour of Dev? I have to look. Okay. Thunderous Debut. Eerie Interference. Glass Casket. Where's Glass Casket? Huh. Okay. Artifact Removal. To go with the Enchantment Removal. Orcish Artillery. <laughs> Okay, that's off the list. <clears throat> that is that is a that is an OG card. For those that are not familiar with it. Okay. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. Karmic Justice. That's fun. Hatching plans. Extraordinary journey. Agatha's champion, Ruby. I guess that's supposed to be ready, Little Red Riding Hood. I actually do not own a copy of Kenrith. And while this is not an expensive card, I don't own one. So that's actually kind of sweet, I have to admit. So that's a copy of Kenrith off the list. Okay. Griffin Airy. The End. And I see... You know, my setup's all screwed up right now. I apologize. I'm going to have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Corvold. That's my second Corvold already. I have to admit, I wish they would kind of stop doing that. And maybe I shouldn't wish for them to stop doing that, but... I kind of wish they would stop putting the face commanders in this product. But I'm sure that it's probably actually a good thing they do it, and then people don't have to buy the decks. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. All I know is I don't love it. Okay, Coven, Raid Bombardment, and the Biovac, Bivouac, whatever. Griffin, okay. All right, come on, Ariette. Come on, Ariette. Seriously, if I open product for me and I don't pull an Ariette, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Or whine, one of the two, probably whine. Forest Fruition, okay. And we got the Gumdrop Poisoner. Hey, all right. And we got the Virtue of uh, Persistence. That's that's pretty good hit. Pretty good hit. Stroke of, G Stroke of Midnight, sorry. There's one of the uncommons I'm hoping to pull multiple of. I don't blow up lands, so 
it kind of works for me. Become Brutes, Compulsion, Fawns Bane Troll. Fawns, Fawns, oh, Fawns Bane, sorry. Duh. Chancellor of Tails, Ash, who's Ash? Oh, well, she's a party crasher, whoever she is. Play magic on Momo! Dragon Mantle. Baluna Grand Squall. Yeah, she's the, uh, yeah, she's the giant, uh, I guess you can almost say commander. This Tainful Stroke is back. Okay. Makes sense from Limited. All right. So far, not, uh, not particularly excited. Hoping for something to give me some enthusiasm here. The Witch's Vanity, Mana Flare, that's fun. Three Blind Mice, Ego Drain, <laughs> that card's mean. All right, last pack of the first row. Uh, we are at three Mythics. One is a Commander Mythic, which I believe is a little bit of a different pool sheet. You probably get one or two of those per box, would be my assumption, based off more recent um, set boxes. Utopia Sprawl, that's cool. Nightly Valor. Gear up. Okay. Uh, we got Godric, Cloaked Reveler. Troyan. So Simic. <laughs> hey, Collector's Vault, awesome. Awesome, you're going on the side because I'm immediately slotting you in a deck. It's just cost efficient. It's it's like an excellent mana sink. Then we got Foulmire Knight off the list. Shrouded Shepherd. Intangible Virtue. Red Cap Gutter Dweller. Those are a bunch of words. Court of Vantress, of course, uh, the new court cycle. I have to read all those. Out of the pack. Flamekin Village. Okay, that's a rare off the list. I think that's been on the list for a hot minute now. Ground Seal. Devouring Sugar Maw. Mosswood Dread Knight. Yeah, it looks really cool in the uh, showcase artwork. That looks awesome. I know I said this in the previous video, but you're not going to be pulling... The, the mythic um, enchanted tales are not going to be dime a dozen. They, they they weren't in Strixhaven. They weren't in Brothers War. Foil impact tremors though, that's fun. Rest in peace, cool. Dig that. Talion, okay, that's a good mythic. That makes me way happier than getting Maluna. Although I know some people are out there excited about Maluna. I'm not. Don't care. Not building it. Scarecrow Guide, Spreading Seas, Hilda's Crown of Winter, that's sweet, don't own one of those yet, Greta, Gingerbread Hunter, huh? three bowls of porridge, <laughs> oh, okay, you don't have to sacrifice it, well, you can use it, what, three times, okay, and then you can sacrifice, okay, when you gain three life, gotcha, so that should be the last one that you choose. I, I, I do like utility artifacts, and that is a not high-costed utility artifact. Up the Beanstalk, Stab Wound, Lich Knight's Conquest, still seems like an excellent card. Look forward to trying it. Neva, and Ariette's Tempting Apple. So far, no mythics off the um, Enchanted Tales. Court of Garen Brig and Foil. 
Well, there's one. We got Kindred Discovery. That's pretty cool. Yeah, got a Kindred Discovery. Which, God, that recovered heavily in price point. I was shocked when I turned around one day. I'm like, wait, wait. Kindred Discovery is how much now? Feral Encounter. Or again, I should, probably should say. Malevolent Witch Kite. It was surprising to me that it just recovered so well with a set that's still out there and cheap in Baldur's Gate. But I guess the more and more uh, typal decks that you kind of... Like rats now, you know? Well, actually, they don't really have blue, but... Fairies need a kindred discovery. Hatching plans. Sir Ginger! You know, it's interesting going from a set box of Commander Masters to a set box of this. Whereas a set box of Commander Masters, every single pack you're getting like three to five rares and mythics. In this one you're getting like one, maybe two. So it is a standard set, right? So it's, it's, it's priced as such. But Grasp of Fate. Charming Scoundrel. It's just an interesting return to reality. <laughs> More than anything else. Difference of a standard set that, you know, a set box is $100, $110, and a uh, set box is $300. Mina in Den is a fantastic card. That's a neat list full. Okay. Oversold, <clears throat> overprinted Cemetery, because that's the now third, fourth time? How many are we at now? That's a rare, isn't it? It sure is. We got Restless Fortress. Can I get the other ones? Oh, wait, I, I got the Golgari. Which one am I missing? It's the enemies, right? Uh, I got the Arid Mesa one. Got the Marsh Flats one. I need the Misty Rainforest one. I, I need the Simic one. Is there a Simic one? I assume so. Like, they did all the other enemies. Enemy colors. And there's Simic cards in the set, so that would make sense. Lord Skidder's Butcher. Curiosity. A Tale for the Ages. Okay. Seems good and limited. Alright, down to the last 10 packs. Food Coma. Compulsion, Guff Triplets, yep. Yeah, this is really interesting to me. It, it's just, I got, I got used to doing Commander Masters and, and I'm doing a standard set box now and it just feels, eh. Leyline of Anticipation, but here we go. There's a card I want. We have the Blossoming Tortoise. Tortoise. All right. A mythic I actually really, really wanted. Tough cookie. Two-headed hunter. Dragon mantle. The Archon of the Wild Rose. Neville. Tempting apple again. Another three bowls of porridge. Okay, so we're at six mythics, right? Do you get one or two mythics uh, from the... In Strixhaven, you tended to get two. All that glitters on the list. It fits the theme, but... <clears throat> okay, whatever. It's a list. Who cares? Witch's Mark. Stab Wound. Impact Tremors. Imidane. Seems cool. What are you? I didn't really play tap, so I immediately kind of want to put it in the other pile without even reading the rest. I'll read the rest later. <laughs> Not right now. Imidane's Recruiter. Dark Tutelage. Decadent Dragon. The Court of Ardenvale. So we got three courts in this box? Wow. And we got knights again, so I'm going to have to look through these knights and see what should go into, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Um, Siddhar uh, Jabari. 
Harden scales. God. Uh, okay. More in more recent times, outside of the last two sets where you had Lord of the Rings and you had uh, my initial openings, I would get like the same cards in the set box and the collector boxes that I opened, and it seems to be happening again. Specter of Mortality, Heart Flame Duelist. They're from different cases, obviously. One's a set box and one's a collector box. Ravnica at War. Okay. That is another list rare. Curiosity. And the Virtue of Persistence. Yeah, I keep getting the same exact. That's two Virtues of Persistence in this box. Hmm. It's a really good card, and I, I shouldn't be like that. But when you're opening up a few boxes and you're hoping to get a little bit of everything... At least most things. That's my, I think, third virtue of persistence now. Season of growth. Rotisserie elemental. All right, we're down to the last two packs. I am leaving this a little disappointed, I have to admit. And we will see where we go after this. Hey, all right. Finally, one of the other cards I was hoping to pull. We got Throne of Eldrain. Great. Hey, all right. Thing heard me talking trash. We got a Parallel Lives in the really sweet. Is I'm assuming that's Will. I know that's Rowan, isn't it? Still awesome. Uh, wait, that's a Mythic. That is a Mythic. It goes over in the Mythic. Okay, so you, I got two in the box just for tracking sake. So I got two Mythics from the uh, Enchanted Tales. Uh, horned Locked Whale. Lock Whale. Now oh, Soul Guide Lantern's back. All right. Last pick. Well, it feels good to leave here with a parallel of lives. Uh, in the artwork I was hoping to pull one in. <laughs> what, what, why? 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 Out of all of them, why? <laughs> the one card not only will I not play with, but I pulled you in the last video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well that's that's okay foil is a separate slot but that is a foil mythic <laughs> okay questing uh druid ashok's reaper and that's gonna be it all right so that's the first set box um don't be distracted by me talking about this weird trend that keeps happening to me that keeps happening to me i don't understand it uh, and i don't know how to fix it either um, but it, it is it does keep happening to me. Parallel Lives is awesome. Throne of Eldrain, sweet pull. Some other cool things actually in the rare slot that I hadn't pulled yet, so that's fun. Um, we're going to do another collector box tomorrow. We'll see how that one goes. Hopefully uh, we can end this duplication run that we, that we are on. See you tomorrow. Bye.